yet again which affects of voice of Estacar Marius Fernandes. Now this fest will be 8 year 80 festival by Goito Kestaka. You know all that this fest are to preserve Goa's tradition, cultures of our rural life, then empowering people and also they are all inclusive that all communities come there. They are the platforms for performance as well as for empowerment of marginalized communities. So, this fest, now what we are announcing, is second Matiche fest at Pilerno. Last year, we had winning success. Whole village uh, came into this fest. People were pursuing, large number of people, not only from village, from various places across Goa. So, it was a wonderful initiative. And mind you, what is important is what exactly follow folks, sell their services, and also other people, persons with disabilities, especially village women, and even with the initiative of Father Derry Xavier Fernandes, who is parish priest of Saint John the Baptist Church Pillar, under his initiative, a local club started where empowerment of local people for earning their livelihood in a form of a weekly market started. Here we have Mr. Admiral Barreto, who is president of PASCA, that is Pilar Arts Socio-Cultural Association. These are the youngsters who have been part of all these initiatives. Then I have with me Marias Fernandes, who is curator of this fest. And I have Dr. Gwendolyn De Ornelas, who is co-curator of this festival, because Marius' festivals have a much focus on marginalized people, persons with disabilities, and women. And women's initiatives are led by Dr. Uh, Gwendolyn. So now I request, as a Yajman, Estato, Manun, I request Karta Padar. Uh, since we have heard from uh, uh, about the second edition of Matiche Fest, and we are uh, very much, uh, uh, I would say, getting in the tempo. The preparations are in full swing, and first time it is. I mean, uh, first time uh, we are going to do something. Uh, what Marius will tell you afterwards. Twinning of uh, two villages. This is the new, new thing that Marius has brought for his fest. Uh, twinning of Pilian and Karamboli, which share a lot of common things because most of the Pilian people they came from Karamboli. So Marius will tell you the history about this. So this is something new. <coughs> And also, we'll, uh, the major focus will be on preservation of the two lakes that we have in Glen. We have uh, uh, Saule Lake, and corresponding to that, in Karanguli, there is the lake in Karanguli. So, this is a new feature of this fest. And second, I would say one more uh, <laughs> yes, feature is uh, it's not only since it takes place in the church compound, we should not think that it is a uh, Catholic festival, you know, the Hindu also take part in the dance, they also have some performance. So it's like uh, very much, I would say, needed thing of this in today. Joining hands. And if FES is doing that, nothing like it. So I will tell Matthias to yeah. Thank you very much, Prakash Bab. Uh, indeed, it's going to be a historic festival, Menchi Pasue. It's going to be a heritage walk accompanied by the history is. During the 1918 pandemic, we had COVID this time, and there was something called Spanish flu. A lot of people had to migrate from different villages, and lots of people from Pilar actually had to go and migrate to other places. Pilar originally was a potter village. During the lockdown, there were many uh, elders who also are sharing recipes uh, with, the, with other women and the youngsters. So this festival 
festival uh, is zero waste. It is cross community. It is a festival which is driven by women and children. The women are the ones who are choreographing the performances, the dances. Children are a part of this. So I have seen as a and I would like everybody to come and be a part of this festival so that we can see the revival of so many customers. No, Gandhi Jayanti. So Gandhi Ji is the one who spoke of self-sufficiency of villages and also spoke about the interest of the commonness of the common person. So these festivals are ultimately that women, persons with disability, they are accommodated into various activities for empowerment, economic income generation and all. And such activities cannot succeed. But and especially youngsters take the lead. So we have here Edmar Barreto who will say a few words from his uh, organization. Thank you, sir. Well, like everyone said, I'm from Pasca Pelena Social Cultural Association. In October, we installed the got this Pasca forward, we registered it and today, today's, I mean in few days going to complete one year exec. So the main aim of Pasca is to get new culture up, to get new youth up and to revive whatever has been lost. So looking forward on 2nd October to everyone out there, especially the youth, please to come to Pelen on 2nd October, just two words, come and enjoy. Thank you. Questions. This year we are celebrating International Year of Millet. So we can say also the International Year of Millet will be celebrated in this Yes. So as uh, some of you all know already, there are 11 types of millets in India. Yeah. Uh, in Goa, these are the common ones, which is Nashle, Bajra, Jua. But other places in India, Gujarat, Northern India, everybody eats chapatis. You know? And they have got many health benefits. One of them is some of that is gluten free. You know? So we want to share this knowledge. We have some boards at the festival explaining to people what Rashna is, why it's good to eat, and we will be serving some uh, Nashna Sattva, which is one of the dishes of your. So all this is about sharing knowledge, a festival of sharing knowledge. Do you got any support from the government, financial or any side? Yeah. So, this is our second year. I mean, it's crowdfunded. People are coming forward. We don't pay anybody, nobody pays a 